Hello there YouTube, I am Wheelchair21 and on today's rolling review we are looking at the Bandai Tomashi Nations SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cross Z Charge Banjo Ryuga's second form in Kamen Rider build. Now, the Cross Z Charge form is acquired through the Splash Driver and uses wonderful Blue Dragon Jelly. Now, because it is blue, you can see the box uses several shades of blues, grays, and whites throughout it. And on the backs of this compacted box, we have some of the promotional artwork that shows how you can pose the figure as well as some of the accessories it will contain. Our interior features the base body and figure art with two pairs of optional hands and a third right optional hand with the twin breaker and inside of it is already the Claws Dragon with the Dragon Full Bottle. Everything you need for Cross Z Charge is right here. And it's a really simple figure art. And it's a really simple set of accessories. Now you would say I'm lying if I said I was liking this form. Or I loved this form straight off when it appeared in the show. However, actually getting the figure in hand... I actually now have a more of a respect and love for the form where when it was started, I thought it was stupid to change the cross Z suit to this one. And then eventually we went back to it for magma because the regular base cross Z style is just so awesome. It's so badass. It looks so freaking cool. Whereas this one doesn't entirely do it for me. However, after watching the show through its entirety, and having an item of it in person, honestly, it's not that bad of a suit overall anymore. It looks pretty awesome. It has really nice metallic silver paint, which helps the overall suit stand out and look pretty badass. I really do like this very silverish design. It makes me want a Hibitsu Sky Silver real bad from Q Ranger now as a figure art because how elegant this silver is and how beautiful it looks. I really like the actual, like, white caution marks all over and, like, rules and regulations of how the suit kind of works, the thigh, the thighs and the actual biceps. Like, it really stands out real well. I actually do like the little splash jelly, like, thruster jets from the overall, like, forearms on the back of the body where you see on the back plates here or on the feet and the torso from the actual jets itself on the shoulders which recreate the splash jelly itself inside the splash driver with the actual wrench lever able to move now it doesn't squish the jelly itself but it is a nice cool added feature i really do like the clear blue lumescent like plastic on the torso and the overall head design it still has that vibrant look of the regular cross z but it doesn't do it enough justice even though like i said i thought i was going to regret owning this figure since it's the only retail version of cross z at at uh or not should I say at but for figure arts so i thought i was going to regret it however i easily do not i just love like i said the apps the details the overall articulation for this figure it really feels smooth and it really feels like it's a well-made item you know it just doesn't feel like it's crappy whatsoever but it does have a little bit of an issue with its overall abdomen joint just because of how far the breastplate goes and because you do have this huge giant neck collar you can't really get the head to rotate as much as well as his overall giant blue dragon thing does hinder it when you turn to the left and then you have pretty good shoulders. I would say the little nozzle here does ish cause some issue, but not too much where it would probably break off the figure or the joint. But you do have a bit of articulation hindrance throughout the upper torso, shoulders, and head. But like I said, though, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be overall. So it's a pretty sturdy, elegantly made figure and... Honestly, I'm starting to love this form now, even though I didn't originally. Its accessories are limited, as you've seen early on in the video, being the Twin Breaker and the actual Cross Dragon, or Claws Dragon, or Clothes Dragon, or whatever you want to call it. 
but it actually does compact down to become the actual part that attaches to the driver, attaches to the twin breaker, and its full bottle is easily able to be removed. However, I don't necessarily recommend it because you may lose it due to the fact that it's such a tiny piece. And since it is able to attach to your basic build driver or twin breaker, it just easily plugs in and it tabs in as so. For the twin breaker itself, it does actually have a bit of, I guess you would say, articulation since it is a two-in-one weapon. You rotate the barrels of its gun form and then you just pull out the silver screw like javelin to reveal the sword form. Now it is a little hard to get it out but it does come out eventually. To get it to come out there's actually a little notch where you can kind of put your fingernail to pull it down and it actually locks in place with a little like pull system that you just tug it and it locks right in and like I said it looks nice it looks cool now the weapon itself isn't the greatest, a lot of people don't like this weapon and scoff at it because it's just like an arm mounted screwdriver javelin kind of spearhead and a little, you know, double barrel wrist mounted laser pistol. But the fact that it does come with the closed dragon is a nice little bonus since I thought that they were just promoting the actual cross Z figure art that it comes with, but they were like, no, we're going to be nice and at least give you this piece to display with your overall figure to use his finishing attack. And we finally come to evaluation time and for my final evaluation SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cross Z Charge is actually a splendid figure art. Like I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. I was actually regretting the purchase of it until it actually got to me, until it actually arrived and I opened it up and I got to play around with the figure, got to display the figure, got to see what it could overly do. And I actually love it, and it now makes me kind of respect and value the form more in the show, even though I'm still a regular Cross Z and Cross Z Magma fan more. But, you know, for people out there who didn't get the pre-orders for it or don't want to spend the extra dollar for them, this will actually help and suffice your addiction to owning a figure based on Banjo Ryuga, who was a fan-beloved character. Actually, a lot of characters in build had a lot of fans, and you can't really figure out who was the fan favorite due to the fact that it seemed like every other episode, it kept changing who the fans loved the most. So overall, having this in hand, I like the form more. It came out as a splendid figure, and I think people should go out and get it if they want some representation of Ryuga in their collection. Overall, though, I am probably going to go out and spend the extra dollar to get Cross Z, Cross Z Magma, and even Kamen Rider Grease, specifically Blizzard form, whenever the pre-orders open up for that. But that's another story. So if you like Kamen Rider Build, if you like Kamen Rider Cross Z, and you like my review of this figure art, please leave a like. And if you're already not subscribed to Wheelchair 21, yeah, yours truly Please subscribe now as well as follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and check me out on freakingheroclub.com. I'll see you all next time with another rolling review and or Doyle's DVDs.